hello youtube and welcome to this video in this video we're gonna learn how we can create a loading screen or a welcome screen uh, on windows form so let's jump right into it and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new project uh, based on windows form so let's search windows form click next and name it anything you like So the form is here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna initialize all the buttons and all the text boxes whatever the control we want uh, behind the welcome screen like text boxes and lots and lots of text boxes and some buttons and label just random controls and some labels and anything like a uh, data grid so here are our controls now uh, we will create a loading screen and all the controls will be hidden behind it so to create a loading screen you need a picture box and you should dock it dock it like this and then you need what you need is uh, you need uh, any gif like this any gif loading like this if you have a video of a loading like this you can convert it into a gif uh, with the following software free video to gif converter so it will convert your video into gif format and you can use it in the loading here so now to give it a loading and size mode to stretch image and let's see how it looks it looks good actually it looks very cool so the loading is here and if uh, something is happening like this sometime things like this happened that uh, you uh, you dock your picture box and the controls came over the top so what you have to do is you a simple trick is this uh, click the picture box and bring to front and all the controls will go behind that so this is okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, create a label and make it a little bigger make it bigger and name it loading also gonna change its name uh, where it is uh, here is the name so load label but we don't want the background of the label so I'm gonna turn it to transparent but here the problem comes that windows form doesn't support to transparency so uh, we're gonna do a hack uh, to make the loading too transparent so we're going to the code and here we're gonna type picture box 
dot parent equals to the load label actually we need the load label on the left side no 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 the picture box uh, the picture box so this will do the trick and it will make the loading transparent and it will it would look something like this and here it is beautiful and if you want the loading to be always on the center you can do things like this make auto size to false and then dock the image and now text align to middle now it will be always be in the middle so here it is and make it bigger and it's still in the middle and transparency looks just beautiful now what we have to do is we're gonna initialize a timer and here we can initialize a timer like this just by dragging it and going to the properties here is the interval it is in millisecond so a thousand millisecond is one second here so I want my loading to be like eight seconds so I'm gonna uh, give the interval to 8000 and here in the event section you will find its tick event and in the tick event the first thing you do is you stop the timer you stop the timer or if you don't do this the thing will happen that it would keep repeating itself after 8 seconds so you have to first stop the timer then do whatever you want to do with it uh, here uh, I want the uh, loading label and uh, the picture box to be disappear so I'm gonna type here picture box dot dispose and load load label dot dispose as well let's see how it looks and how it works we have to wait 8 seconds and uh, and it's not working i think we must have done something wrong uh, let's see what we have done and wrong yes the main thing i i forgot the main thing which is i should create a loading event and we have to start the timer we <laughs> we stopped the timer when the tick event arrived but we hadn't start the timer uh, one thing is uh, uh, I can st start the timer just in the properties and uh, he I could this so it would it would auto start let's check it out it should auto start and after 8 seconds the loading should disappear So the loading is disappeared and our app is finished another thing we could do if we want uh, if we don't want a loading screen and a welcome screen instead if we only want uh, uh, the welcome screen if we want uh, the welcome screen to be separate from the real app we can do this we can create another form which would be the real 
application name it yeah be the real application and I'm just gonna put one label and naming it real app so here in the uh, in the tick event what we can do is we could remove these two and initialize the real app real app form to new and form dot show dialog another thing we have to do is before uh, before showing the new form we have to close this window this loading window so here we can do this hide and then close for these what these lines would do I would write as a command this will shed this will hide the loading screen this will open real app and this would uh, close the loading screen the reason why we're doing this uh, is that if you close the if you first directly close the real application like this the thing would happen that if the application is closed these codes will not get executed so first we have to hide the application then then the new form will appear and then we could close the previous application previous form so uh, now it's uh, it looks okay we should test it so after 8 seconds this should go away and the real app should open so let's see and the real app is open so that's all for now and uh, thanks for watching and like the video if you like the video press the like button and if you don't like the video still press the like button and share this video and subscribe because it really helps so subscribe to my channel and also recommend it to the other guys who are having problem designing their apps or other tutorial problems and see you next time